Nursing is one of the most respectable and humblest professions in the world, yet somehow the world is in dire need of nurses, most especially in our country. Good day. We are from BSN 3C, U2B, and generous Elon Bossa, and together with me are Janelle Machika, Hurricane Laz, Ariel Ryan McLean, and Francesca Mendon. In this presentation, we are going to talk about factors that influence perceptions in pursuing a local nursing career among nursing students. Nurses are the backbone of the healthcare system. The COVID-19 pandemic has underscored the crucial role nurses play in the healthcare system, bringing a spirit of strength, ingenuity, and courage to their work. Despite this, a report from the WHO revealed that countries are still facing and will continue to experience nursing shortages. In the Philippines, we have seen firsthand how this nursing shortage affected their country. Several studies show the lack of nurses is related to the country's low minimum wage, poor benefits, and heavy workload due to a high nurse patient ratio. As a result, emigration to a higher income nations is the major issue. With this, the Board of Nursing of the Professional Regulation Commission revealed that addressing the emigration issue should begin with having a good nursing curriculum because it can foster the essential qualities of being a Filipino nurse and will aid in alleviating a country's nursing shortage. With that, the study aimed to identify the factors that influence perceptions toward pursuing a local nursing career among the level four nursing students in USLS. As future nurses, these students make up a good fraction of the Philippine workforce. Their perception will serve as determinants if their number will contribute to the country's nursing workforce or the supply of nurses abroad. Specifically, we aim to answer three questions. The demographic profile of the nursing student, the contributing factors, as identified by literature that affects their perceptions, and their perception towards pursuing a local nursing career among the four factors. To conduct our study, a quantitative descriptive design was adapted. A target population of 123 students was identified as all participants through certified random sampling using a table of random digits. However, due to time and communication problems, the total sample size achieved was on 129 participants with one section not reaching the quota. As per the instrument, it underwent a reliability test resulting in a Cronbach's alpha of 0.86. The instrument was also validated by three nursing professors using the Wooden Skates Evaluation Form, yielding a mean of 4.64. The part one of the instrument is the social demographic profile of the participants. Part two is a checklist about the common factors for nursing migration based on literature. And part three, the levels of perception towards pursuing a local nursing career modified from Patidar et al and Powdell and Koirala. The statements are further subdivided into four factors as seen in Table 2. Moving on to the results of the study, the figure 1 shows the social demographic profile of our participants. 76% of the participants were female and most participants came from Section B. Also, students having 30-degree relationship with a registered nurse responded the most. Moving forward, as shown in Table 1, amount of compensation was the most commonly chosen factor by the participants, implying that this factor dominantly influences their perceptions towards pursuing a local nursing career. When considered in terms of sex, the dominant factor in males is nurse-patient ratio, with 90% of them choosing the mentioned factor. On the other hand, 92% of the females chose the amount of compensation as the factor that influenced their perceptions in pursuing a local nursing career. With regards to the participant sections, the result shows that majority of the participants in 4A with a 90% and 4B with a 95% considered the benefit as a dominant factor that influences their perception toward pursuing a local nursing career. While in 4C, both the amount of compensation and workload got the first rank among the factors, sharing 90% each. Meanwhile, for 4D, similar figures were noted for the amount of compensation nurse-patient ratio, workload, and benefit with a 91% each. According to the participants' degree of relationship to a registered nurse, 96% students with at least a first-degree relationship considered benefits as the dominant factor in pursuing a local nursing career. Meanwhile, all of the students who have up to a second-degree relationship identified the amount of compensation. 
For students with at least third degree relationships, 90% of them considered benefits, while 91% of students with at least a fourth degree relationship commonly chose the factors, workload, and amount of compensation. Lastly, for students with no family relationship with an RN, which is identified in the study as students with fifth degree relationship, 95% of them chose nurse patient ratio as the dominant factor. For table two, it provides information about the perceptions of level four nursing students in pursuing a local nursing career among the factors of work opportunity, affinity for local work, working and living conditions, and career development. The results show that the level four nursing students have slightly low prospects towards pursuing a local nursing career when influenced by the four factors. Only the factor working and living conditions have a result of slightly high prospects, which has 3.65, whereas the rest of the variables have a result of slightly low prospects, affinity for local work, work opportunity, and career development, with the means of 3.48, 3.11, and 2.67, respectively. Based on the statement of the instrument, this result implies that if their job description is justly identified, such as enough compensation, reasonable workload, and benefits, they will pursue a career locally, especially since working in the country requires less adjustments and adaptation regarding the culture, beliefs, and values of the patient or the client. Table 7 shows the difference between the perceptions of level 4 nursing students towards pursuing a local nursing career and their profile variables. The results show that there is no significant difference between their perceptions and their profile variables. This result implies that the profile variables of the nursing students, namely sex, section, and degree of relationship with an RN, do not affect their perceptions when they are grouped accordingly. In simpler terms, student nurses have their own prospects towards pursuing a local nursing career which are not influenced by their profile variables. Upon discussing and analyzing the results of the study, the researchers identified that the fact of working and living conditions mainly influence the nursing students' perceptions and prospects in pursuing a local nursing career. Under this are the specific factors such as amount of compensation, benefits, nurse-to-patient ratio, and workload. Furthermore, other factors such as work opportunity, affinity to local work, and career development still had a certain degree of influence on in the perceptions of level 4 nursing students in pursuing a nursing careers locally. These findings raise the awareness of how the future nurses perceive and what they consider on where they think they can pursue their nursing careers that align with their interests. For our recommendations, the researchers generally recommend to come up with practices that can improve prospects in pursuing a nursing career locally. Specifics can be seen on the right lower side of our poster. With that, we would like to end our presentation with a question. What kind of nurse do you want to be in the future? Thank you for listening and God bless.